Hey, do you want to learn how to make a simple photo slideshow effect in Wondershare Filmora just like the one you're watching right now? Then stay with me, I'll show you how. Before we proceed, if you're new here, consider subscribing for more awesome videos like this and click the notification bell to get our video as soon as they are released. So let's get started. So import your media, import all the images and photos you're going to be using to the media. Drag and drop a white sample color to the track on the timeline. Stretch it a little bit. Drag and drop the first image on the timeline. Go to crop and zoom, change the ratio to 69 and make some adjustment. Double click on the video and let's reduce the scale to either 50 or 45 and align it to the right side of the screen. Drag down the second image to the track on the timeline. Change the ratio to 69. Right click on the first image, copy effects and click on the second image and paste the effects. Now drag the image to the lower part of the screen and align it properly. Let's drag down our third image and also crop it. Right click on the second image, copy effects and right click on the third image and paste the effects right there. Now let's align the image on the screen to the left hand side. Now let's drag down our fourth image and do the same thing and make sure they're properly aligned on the screen. Now that the images are properly aligned on the screen, let's go ahead and drag and drop all the other images we're going to use to the timeline, one after the other, and crop them. So now that we're done cropping all our images and these are all the images we're going to be using, let's go back to the first image, right click on it and copy effect, then go to the second image and paste effects. do the same to the other images on the last track on the timeline. Go to the first image on the last track, right click and copy effects and paste the effect on the other three photos on the same track, one after the other. Go to the third image on the track, right click and copy effect and paste it on the other three images. On the same track and do the same to all the other images on the track one after the other now we're done with that and when you check you can see our images are properly aligned on the screen all right click on the white background and delete it and hide the first two track by clicking this icon now let's take the snapshot of the first images click on that icon and here is our snapshot i move to the next images and take another snapshot so now we're taking four snapshots When you're done taking the snapshots, reveal the other two tracks and hide the first last two tracks. And now let's take snapshot of the other two tracks, one after the other. We're 
we're done taking the snapshot and here are all our snapshots so you can uncheck the those icon highlight everything and delete them we don't need them now let's move to the next stage go back to sample color drag and drop the white sample color on the timeline that's what we're going to use for our background change the screen to 10 percent and drag down the first image to the track on the timeline. Now go to the screen, drag the image and pull it out of the screen. Double click on the image and go to animation and click on customize. Add a keyframe to the beginning of the image. Add a keyframe to the beginning of the image. Move to the last part of the image and go back to the screen and drag the image across the screen to the upper side of the screen until it is out of view, out of the screen. And now we have added animation to our first image. And let's drag then our second image to the timeline. Double click on it and drag the image down to the lower part out of the frame. And move the playhead to the end of the image. And go back to the screen and drag the image across the screen to the upper side until it is out of view. And here is our second animation. So follow the same process and do the same to the other two images. We're done with the left hand side animation. Now let's drag our fifth image to the timeline. Go to the screen, drag it out of the frame to the upper side of the screen. Click on animation and customize and add a keyframe to the beginning of the image. Move the playhead to the end of the image and go back to the screen and drag the image across the screen to the bottom of the screen. And here is our animation. Playhead to the middle and drop the sixth image right there. Go back to the screen, drag it out of the frame. And move the playhead to the end of the image and go back and drag the image across the screen to the bottom of the screen until it is out of the frame and follow the same process and do the same to the last images. I click on the screen and let's change the screen back to full modes. Now we're done with our animation. The next thing we need to do is to export our video, then import and bring it back. So click on export and export it. And when it's done rendering, you bring it back. Now let's highlight and delete everything on the screen because we don't need them. So drag and drop the rendered video back to the track on the timeline. Now just go through it and see what we have. Now we want to eliminate the first white space and the last white space. So just go through it and cut the first part of the white image and delete the first part. Now let's go toward the end and also cut out the white space. So click on cut and delete. And this is the part we're going to use for our final video. Isn't it awesome? All right, go to effects and search for this particular effect. Drag and drop it on the second track on the timeline. Stretch it to cover the length of the video. Now double click on the image and adjust the image from the side to fit our effects. And let's go back to color sample, drag and drop white color sample as the background of the video. And now let's preview it and see what we have. Isn't it awesome? 
it's time to add some music background music to our slideshow so drag and drop any music of your choice cut out the parts you don't want and you can preview it and see what you have well our video our slideshow is ready so just go through it if there's any adjustment you need to make just make it and the next thing you need to do is just smash that export button to render our video and see our final product so thanks for watching this video and if you find it valuable share it with your friends like it and if you're new here don't forget to click the subscribe button for more awesome videos like this and turn on the notification bell so that you will get our next video the moment they are released thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video